Hello and welcome to the Gage Look, and we're playing Europa Universalis today. Europa Universalis 2. Now I actually wanted to play the first one, but it was just too mad. It, it, it was it was even before my time when started playing games, if you can believe that. So we're playing Europa Universalis 2 today with its wonderful music that I think's pretty loud. I've already turned it down. Let's just turn it down a little bit more. We're playing as Brandenburg. Now the reason I haven't shown you like the openings, oh, oh my god, we've already started. Right, <laughs> let's just get started. Oh Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on at all. Okay, we're Brandenburg, I believe. Magiburg is our vassal. Um, oh my god, a trade agreement will allow us to have merchants. Okay, trade agreement. Trade. Auto sent merchant. How does this work? I don't know how any of this works. Back to Maine. It's been so long since I paid this. So we're playing as Brandenburg. This is Europa Universalis 2. This is what it looks like. A lot of it's very similar, but a lot of it's very different. Now, apologies for the way the games... This is at the highest possible resolution I'm playing it in, and it's not very high. There's actually populations in this game, which I really like, and I'm eager for Imperator to come out for this. Okay, we've got missionaries. We don't have any navies. Um, okay, so stability is full. Trade level. Do we want to maybe put some more into... No, that's all fine. That's all fine at the moment. So what do we want to do? Maybe we don't do anything. Where's the diplomacy window? Should we have maybe an ally? No diplomats available. Ah, oh, yes, okay, so your diplomats generate over time, your missionaries generate over time, and your merchants generate over time. Okay, so I would like to get an ally if possible with somebody. I could join their alliance. Let's join Austria's alliance. We will ask Austria. They've rejected their alliance. Now, that's a bit unfortunate because I can't really tell how it works here. So, <laughs> we have two provinces. Magiburg is a vassal. Where's our economy? That's not really an economy though, is it? Oh, Poland has invited us. Yeah, absolutely. So we're allied with Poland. Wow, we've got a lot of armies. We're allied with Poland here. Uh, we don't really have a goal. I'm not sure I'm going to play more than one episode. It's a bit mad. We're actually losing money as well. Hmm. What are we losing money on? military maintenance. So let's just bring that military maintenance all the way down. Are we going to still lose money on that? I think we've got the game speed on below normal. You can't change the game speed from my understanding anywhere other than here. So let's go to normal. How are we going to make more money? Um, Can we maybe just invest less? Oh yeah, two treasury. I presume this won't update until the end of the month. So we want to make a little bit of money. What's even going on? We have manpower of 11,000. Okay, so we're making a tiny touch of money now. So that's fine. And this is where you upgrade your buildings here. But I don't know how. We need a lot more money than this. I feel like we should probably go on a higher... Let's go above normal. There's just no way to pause, I don't think. Unless I'm missing something. There's some hints. Establish trading posts is the fastest and easiest way. Of I don't think colonization will be on our game. And look, lots of things are happening. Okay, so we've went to the early renaissance. That's great. We're not generating any merchants yet, though. So we're going to want to generate merchants. <laughs> of course. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> What are we doing? Merchant sent. We have sent a merchant to trade in Novgorod. Really? Why? I'm sure I didn't press that. Okay, so we've got a merchant in Novgorod. Merchants have failed in Novgorod. Okay, let's not auto send merchants in. Right, we have another diplomat right now. Should we try and maybe... I don't want to just click declare war just in case something mad happens. 
Would anybody else... Is there anyone we could get an alliance with? Nobody really likes us that much. So we're in that alliance. Let's just get... Oh, they've, how did they reject our alliance proposal? How dare you? If I declared war on them... We're about... Okay, so we don't have a Cassis Belly. I don't know how this works. I can't remember. Right, what I did read though is we can upgrade one of our buildings. So let's build a tax collector. It'll take 12 months. And let's build a tax collector here. Now let's go have a look at populations. Rome's 80,000. Constantinople, 100,000. Anglia, so London. Not very big really. A bit Moscow. It's not Moscow, where's Moscow? Moscow, 20,000, also not very big. And what about Austria? Yeah, we're one of the bigger cities. Bohemia is. So we're going to want to go to war, but I really don't know. Oh, we've got missions. Conquer Silesia. To succeed. Oh, God, no. Well, that's quite cool, though. So how would I go about it? Getting... How do I declare war on them? We're about to declare war. We will lose since we share. We have no Cassius Belly, so how do we get a Cassius Belly? I love, I love this screen. I do miss the population elements. Um. Oh, oh yeah. This is where we can change. Let's make quality. Oh shit! That dropped our stability. It's fine. Okay, we've got a merchant now, actually. Let's send the merchant here. I'm not really sure how this works. Stability increased. Oh, that's good. Oh, we're losing quite a lot of money. Why are we losing so much again? Merchants failed. So are we just going to go broke? I don't know what's going on. Military maintenance is way up again. Why? Oh, is that because we went up in quality? There it is. God, that was loud. Sorry if that was loud for you. Um, okay, let's get rid of you. Now, I do wonder if I was to declare war on somebody, who would help? Should we just try it? We can always start again. Okay, so I think I think they've helped us. Stability is increased. Oh wow, yeah, that's a lot of troops coming. We're gonna lose our battle for sure. But hopefully Poland will help us. We won there, did we? Wow. Okay, so we are besieging them, as is Poland. Hopefully they'll give that to us. I'm not really... I really don't remember the mechanics here. I think we're putting way too much money into stability, though. Come on, Brandenburg. Nice. We'll be Prussia. I don't know if we can make Prussia. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, Prussia already exists. Uh, okay, fair enough. If we lose, we'll go play as Prussia. We keep winning. I think we'll lose eventually here, though. Okay, so Poland has a lot of troops here. We want von Pomeran, that's for sure. What would a peace deal look like? Demand tribute? Okay, so we can't demand anything yet. Okay, so we eventually lost, but I think Poland will win this for us. Oh my god, 54,000 troops. 
Holy crap. I don't know if you get stat wiped in this game. I don't know if it's a thing. I can't remember. Where's my troops? Are they dead completely, are they? Maybe I have been stat wiped. I don't know. How do I tell who I'm at war with? Diplomatic insult? Bastards. Oh man, we're at war with quite a few people. Did we get anything from this? I, I don't know. Let's place some merchants in there. Okay, so they've taken that for us. Have they taken it for themselves, though? I think they have. Oh, they have. Can I not... Can you not give it to me? <laughs> Shit. I think our first playthrough on Europa Universalis 2 is going to come to a very abrupt end. Maybe we should play as Poland. Or a bigger nation. I'm always intrigued by Scotland, of course. It could be quite difficult, I think, to play as Scotland. It's quite hard to get this game working properly as well. I'm playing the GOG version. Even then, it didn't work very well. I knew there was a there was a mod for this game though that added some extra provinces. I think it's a given that we've we've lost this now. Um, oh, should we wait though? Should we maybe just increase the speed? I just wanted to give this a wee go. Let, let's let's put it fast. See if Poland can turn this around for us. They do look like they've got a lot of soldiers. Okay, so they won't take white piece. You never know, because I could potentially vassalize them. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's just auto send merchants. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. To Venice, I think there's just a percentile chance to gain money in a merchants. Yeah. Okay. They've taken my land. I can't... I really wish there was a way to tell how the full annexation of Milan by Helvita by Switzerland. What? Got all this down here. Pomeran... Oh, market share has increased. Great. What the hell was that noise though? So presumably we'll start making money from that now. Oh Christ. Wait, have we... Are we now at peace? I <laughs> know. Oh, We're still at war. How did you peace out though? Oh, you bastards. Well that's okay I suppose. Um, shall we recruit some soldiers maybe? Oh, I was on 50% so maintenance as well. Shit. Okay, let's get a couple of soldiers. Can we afford that? We can indeed. I'm not sure how these guys work. Merchants failed. That's absolutely fine. We don't seem to be making any money from Venice, though. Just keep our merchants. Screw you guys. I'm going to stick them in Mecklenburg. Trade revenue. Oh, God. Okay, so the army builds in its entirety. I still don't know what I'm doing. I think we'll call it there, though. I think we should probably not play as a country that's going to require a bit more management than we're capable of. Let's just have a quick look. Denmark could be an interesting one. I presume they have the vassals. Uh, how do we look? If you cut, no, that's not right. Send diplomat. Yeah, so they've got their two vassals as normal, so they'll be quite powerful. And this is obviously how we gain stability. Eh, uh, sorry. We gain Cassus Belly. France is a mess. The Ottomans are small, actually. The Golden Horde are much bigger. Bear in mind, this is an earlier start. Susdal, Muscovy, 
New center of trade has opened up in Frace. Sweet. Um, Castile. Aragon's quite strong. Aragon could be interesting. How does Aragon start? Military lines of. Okay. Yeah, so let me know. We can just do this as a one off. This was a bit ridiculous and it's really awkward because the screen is about this size on my monitor, honestly. And my mouse has got a really high DPI. I've turned it all the way down, but it's, it's really awkward. Anyway, just a wee go on Europa Universalis 2. I'm getting quite hyped about Imperator Rome now, you see, so I thought I'm going to play some of the old deeds. Anyway, I will see you soon. Thanks very much, folks, and have a good one. We're under